everybody, what's going on? It's me, Big for the One Gaming here with my boy Fish. We're good. We are going to do our 100% accurate NFL playoff picks here. So, Fish, uh, I think we'll just do one. Uh, we'll kind of go back and forth, see who kind of uh, we think is going to win here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, let's go in order uh, of by games. Uh, so first game will be, I believe, it's the Bengals and Raiders Saturday night in Cincinnati. Yeah, tomorrow at 3.30. Cool, this on the 14th. Here's the thing with the Raiders. Yes, they just beat the Chargers, but they yeah, are very team. inexperienced. I mean, they, their core is not a bad quarterback. He's though. not bad, yeah. but... He makes bad decisions. Sometimes, yeah. And they don't have a really good run game. So they're going to have to rely on Derek Carr and that O-line to hold. And Cincinnati, their pass rush is underrated, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati's offense is going to destroy the Raiders' defense. Uh I'm really surprised they even beat the Chargers. They're going for the tie, so they should have been facing the Chiefs, but whatever. Uh, but I think I'm giving this first game to the Bengals. Yeah, I'm going to say the Bengals on this one. I mean, Joe Burrow has really fucking stepped it up. I mean, especially against the fucking uh, the Chiefs. That game was, was something. Yeah, Burrow and Chase kind of destroyed our defense, uh, so that was not fun. That was not a fun game to watch, but anyways... Uh, yeah, Bengals moving on. I think Burrow and Chase and Higgins and Boyd are going to pop off, even with Mixon. Their running game is too good. I don't think the Raiders can stop it. Uh, I think it's going to – I don't think it's going to be a big blowout, but I think it's going to be by double digits. Uh, so I'm going Bengals. Uh, second game that's happening on Saturday night, Bang, or, uh, Bills and Patriots. I think this might be the game – of the playoffs. That's definitely going to be a good game. I think the Patriots want revenge. And I think the Bills want to be trying to go back to the AFC Championship game where they were last year and lost. But this time try to win it. Uh, I think the Patriots will put up a fight. Mac Jones did well to early on in the year. But has really fell off recently because he's turned the ball over. Plenty of times. They just lost to the Dolphins terribly at home, or on, on the road, excuse me. Uh, they have not been well since really after their bye week. I mean, they lost to the Colts. They lost to the Bills. They lost to the Dolphins after their bye week. I'm pretty sure that I don't, I don't remember if they lost one other one. Uh, but Mac Jones hasn't played well in all those losses. And especially Maybe it's going to be in Buffalo. Yeah. They did beat the Bills, though. That was, that was uh, early on, though, and Mac Jones yeah, threw the ball was, three times. Three times. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was with the, yeah, the fucking same wind. The 20-mile or 50-mile-per-hour winds or whatever it was with a gust. Yeah, this game uh, is, it, isn't going to be like fucking... Uh, let's, see, let's check the weather, shall we? That's going to be the biggest uh, thing here. So, uh, the weather around game time... It's going to be around 7 o'clock their time. Uh, or 8 o'clock, sorry. I don't even know what time it's going to start. Uh, it's going to be, you know, 8 degrees regularly. It's no, uh, nothing else. So other than that, it's going to be cold. It's going to be relying a lot on the run game. Uh, the Patriots do have the advantage on that. I'm actually going to go Patriots. I'm going to go with the upset. I think the Patriots can pull it off, especially with their run game. I think they're going to back through the run game and keep it going. I don't think the Bills can compete with it. I, Josh Allen's going to want to throw the ball. If he's not, then he's going to run the ball. I think with how being cold it is, it's going to be harder on him to run. I think the Patriots are playing well. I think the Patriots are going to win it. I'm going to go with the Bills on this one. I'm going Bills, so you're going Patriots, opposite me? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a good game. The Patriots are going to put up a good fight. I mean... Fuck, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. 
they beat them before, but that was early on. And but that was with the um the fucking windshield and shit. Mm-hmm. And it it is gonna happen again, but I mean, the Bills also stepped it up too. But I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Bills on this one. You on Bills, Josh? Um, yeah. All right. So next game, Sunday at noon, Bucks Eagles. Uh, I don't think there's a contest here. I think Bucks are yeah. gonna destroy them. I don't even think we need to go into I'm it. I'm hoping so, uh, that the Eagles beat them, but yeah, I mean, it would be awesome to see the Eagles and Jalen Hurts beat Tom Brady and the Bucks. But you know, it's home. It's Tom Brady. He's gonna get a lot of the calls. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think the Bucks gonna win. I'll, I I don't think we need to spend any more minutes on this. Uh, 49ers Cowboys. Now this is your here team. We go. Yep. So, 49ers are playing hot right now. They are doing good. They, I think, are the most dangerous team coming into the playoffs. Uh, I don't. It's in Dallas. They're white on white. I've I've read. Uh, I don't know how well you guys play with white on white. Done, yeah, they haven't recently done good at home, which worries me. But I mean, they have. They've stepped up in these recent games. I mean, their their offense has been inconsistent lately. Yeah, I th- but, and. You guys put up 51 points on the Eagles team that wasn't yeah. – they didn't have anything to play for at the time. Uh, they couldn't yeah. move up in anything. So, I mean, they were stuck at seven, so they put, just played second and third stringers. So, that's I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, I th- I think I, – I mean, Debo Samuel is going to be good. He You don't know if he's going to be, you know, running the ball, receiving, even throwing the ball. Uh, I think Jimmy Garoppolo uh, – is going to be better than it, what he was. Be up to his, it's going to be up to his offensive line because the Cowboys' defense is insane right yeah, now. Yeah, Micah Parsons will be back. That one's a yeah, huge one. Yeah, he'll be back. Uh, you have first-team All-Pro uh, Diggs. Yeah, Diggs is going to be back, uh, too. Which, honestly, they're just going for interceptions. I don't think it deserved first-team All-Pro, but that's besides the point. I mean, uh, your defensive, the defensive line, they got Micah Parsons, they got Randy Gregory, Demarcus Lawrence, and uh, Gallimore. I forgot about him, too. He's pretty mm-hmm. good, too. Like, they're... Their defensive they're line to, causes the turnover. So, I think yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Cowboys. I think that's going to happen. Um, I mean, it's not going to be an easy game. I, I already know that. I, I, I can see gonna... it being close. I can see the Cowboys pulling off like a last-minute drive uh, just because it's home. They're going to have the crowd with them. Uh, I think it's going to be that. Uh, but yeah, the last we're... Sunday night game, <laughs> Chiefs-Steelers, I think we can agree. Either the Chiefs are the most dangerous team in the playoffs along yeah, with the, the 49ers. Definitely, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Uh, yes, our defense kind of took a couple steps back the last two weeks. Uh, against the Bengals and the Steelers, or not the Steelers, excuse me, uh, against the Broncos. Uh, but that huge uh, fumble return by Nick Bolden, I think that's when I kick him into gear, get back into our what we did after the bye week. Uh, just the insane stretch of games uh, to where we only allowed nine points per game. Uh, I don't think the Steelers can, even if they do score points, I don't think the Steelers can match the Chiefs' offense when they're running well. Now, Clyde Edwards-Alaire is out for this game. And with Clyde, we do a lot better than with our other running backs. That's the only thing that scares me is when we have Clyde and when we don't. It's really weird. Our offense, you know, does really, really well with Clyde in it. Even though a lot of people hate Clyde, I don't know why. But without him, we also struggle. And that's the only thing that's going to be scaring me, but... I think the defense steps up against Big Roethlisberger's last game ever. Yeah, it's unfortunate it's going to be his last game, but I mean, I mean he had a good run in his, in his career, and I think this game he said he said he was going to uh, just going to have fun, you know, do what he can. And yeah, I mean, I, we're just going to see how it goes. I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to be a close game. I don't, I really don't think it is, but. We'll just have to see. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Chiefs. So almost all of us, besides the Patriots Bills so far, uh, have been uh, kind of the same. Uh, last game, this is on a Monday night, which I thought was going to be the Chiefs game, uh, to be honest. 
Uh, but it's the Cardinals Rams, which kind of makes sense now in my head because the Chargers had a chance to make it, so they had to. Well, they weren't going to be home, so never mind. But oh yeah, Cardinals but, and Rams uh, definitely be a good game. Cardinals Rams. Rams didn't look good against the 49ers. Yeah, it's it's really going to be up to Matthew Stafford here. I mean, the Cardinals he's have had a shit. He's he's had a shit ton of interceptions lately. I mean, the Cardinals were once the one seed. They had a huge like lead on it, and then all of a sudden just lost it. Uh, I honestly think the Rams are going to win this. I don't think uh, the Cardinals – I mean, the Cardinals have a good defense. They're going to get J.J. Watt back. Uh, but I just don't think they are built to beat the Rams. I mean, yes, they beat the Rams early on, but they also lost to them as well. This is their third meeting this season. I think the Rams are going to get uh, – unless we get the Rams – Stafford that threw three picks against the Vikings. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, at least for the Cardinals' offense, that that quarterback they have, Murray, Kyler Murray, mm-hmm. he's if they they give him any openings, he'll he'll run the game on because he he definitely showed that in the Cowboys game. And with a, a fast quarterback like that, it's difficult for uh, the defense to get a hold of. Yep. That is very true. But, All right. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, I'm about to go with the Rams, though. You going Rams? Yeah. Now we got the division series. Uh, we'll we'll go back to move everything around just for, uh, so we can get your picks because I think the one pick we didn't have was the Bills, so we'll move that around. All right. So we got the same AFC, NFC teams. So let's go ahead. Uh, I don't know the schedule. I don't think they've announced the schedule yet for the division series. Hmm. Uh, cause they don't know the home games yet. Oh, we actually yeah. do, but we don't know who's playing what, uh, but they do have the game set scheduled. Uh, but let's go ahead and go with the NFC first Packers Rams. I think Packers all the way. Uh, yeah. Rogers and Adams are going to pop off. Even if he's double covered. I mean, you saw, uh, Devontae Adams get triple team. They still won, uh, with Adam Lazard. Aaron Jones is back and he's healthy. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think – I don't think the Rams, if they win this, they could also be the Cardinals. I don't think they could uh, – either one of them, I don't think beat the Packers. I mean, Rams are definitely going to put up a good fight. But, yeah, Packers would – Especially in yeah. Lambeau in the cold. I mean, Matthew Stafford yeah. is used to the cold since he's played in Detroit and played yeah. in Lambeau before. But I don't think uh, – I don't think it's going to be a good game. I think Packers are going to run away with that one. Yeah. Bucks cowboys This one – I this one's going to be the hard one. This one's definitely going to be a tough one. Although the first game, like, as, of the season was the Cowboys and the Buccaneers, and the Cowboys almost beat them. They, they definitely put up a good, a good fight. And the co- the Cowboys definitely dropped the ball and about. I think didn't uh, did you guys what? miss like two field goals during that game? And that's why the, that's why so, you lost. Yeah. You lost by our three. Kick, yeah, our kicker is, he's definitely it's Greg the leg. Because he can make he can make long field goals like fifty yard field goals, but when it comes to like just like extra points like like thirty six yards or something like that, he most of the time he he just can't make it, and I, it might screw us if he doesn't get that unlocked. But if the Cowboys play like they did the first game again, uh, or like they did against the uh, Bucks uh, first game of the season. And especially with their defense back, I think, yeah, I think I think the Cowboys honestly might win this. And I think the Bucks don't they have a couple players out? Yes, they're gonna have. Uh, they have Chris Godwin out. I believe they're getting back Fournette and Levante David. Fournette, yeah. Uh, I mean, of course they're gonna be out Brown. They're gonna have Gronk and Evans. They're both gonna be yeah. there. Those are their big two targets. If you guys could guard them. But yeah. I think the offensive line for Tampa Bay is going to be the answer. I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to win it. It's going to be a rematch of last year in the NFC Championship game. I don't think the Cowboys can get the pass rush there in time for him to force uh, anything. But I don't. Tom Brady doesn't force anything. It's at home. I can see it being another close game, but I think the Bucs, again, will win this game over the Cowboys. I, I want to say Bucs, but honestly, I... 
I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to go with the Cowboys on this one because I mean, yeah, because it, I feel like they've gotten better if they can keep their offense consistent and with all their defensive line back. I think they could definitely put up a good fight and actually beat them this time. All right, all right. I, I that's fair. So, AFC. Uh, for you, technically, it would be the Bengals and Titans and the Bills Chiefs. For, for, for me, it's Patriots, Titans, and Bengals Chiefs. We'll move uh, later on down the road to get yours. Uh, I think the Chiefs-Bengals game, if it is Chiefs-Bengals, uh, I think it's going to be a much different result than the in Cincinnati game. I think Chiefs are going to win it. Uh, I know I'm kind of trying to be biased here, but, I mean, yeah, we're going to we're going to learn. When it's when it's playoffs, our defense steps up majorly. Besides against last year in the Super Bowl, we're not talking about it. But what it was against Tom Brady, and he got all the calls in the first half. We didn't have a chance. Uh, but anyways, honestly, yeah. that that game hurt our defense a lot more than what we think. And I think it is going to be the game that they're going to look back on and going to have poster board material of Jamar Chase double covering him. So Burrow has to throw to Higgins and Boyd, and we're going to cover them pretty well. I think if they do single cover, Chase is going to be with Snead, arguably the most underrated corner in the league, if not one of the best corners in the league, or at least in the AFC. Yeah, I think this is going to be a tough one for the Chiefs because, I mean, they did lose, but wasn't that game like, didn't they lose because of a penalty? Uh, yeah, we stopped him on fourth and goal twice. Uh, we got flagged twice. Uh, it was a fourth and goal at the one. And we stopped him three straight times on a QB sneak. They tried to throw it. They had a hold and a uh, illegal use of hands. To the f- or, uh, it was illegal contact uh, the first time. And then the second time it was hands to the face on the defense, which gave him a free first down. So that sucked. Yeah. That that's think, why we lost. If we had him on fourth down, we we're just gonna yeah. run out the clock. Or they were gonna try to I wish we would have just uh, and also here's the thing, third and twenty seven, you don't go cover zero. You just don't. Yeah. But besides the point, we're moving on. Chiefs <laughs> Chiefs are gonna win at home. Yeah, honestly, I, I think the Chiefs are gonna win those figures. I mean no if there's no penalties, like they they would have had to win with uh their uh, previous game with the Bengals. And, I mean, Joe Burrow's good. He's definitely stepped it up in his recent games, but the Chiefs aren't <laughs> one to be fucked with. So, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Chiefs on this one. So, now we got Patriots-Titans. Uh, I'm going to go with Titans for this I'm, one. I'm not going Titans. I know they're getting Henry back, but yeah, you know who does not- really well against the run? <laughs> yeah. Bill Belichick and the Patriots defense. I'm actually taking the Patriots to upset the Titans. And here's my reasoning. <laughs> if they can beat the Bills at, in Buffalo, they can beat the P- Titans in Tennessee. That offense runs through Derrick Henry. Yes, they won a couple games without him, but you saw a much different Titans offense with and without Derrick Henry. I think the Patriots are going to win. It's going to be close. But I think the Patriots could pull off the upset. So, yeah. I, yeah, you know, I'm going to go with the Patriots. Because, I mean, yeah, they're going to have Derrick Henry back. But he just came back from an injury. So he's probably not going to be playing at 100%. I mean, they are they are putting him in the practice. And, you know, he's he's going to be good for game. But I don't, I don't think he's going to be 100% for it. And it's not just relying on him. It's relying on their quarterback, too. But... Yeah, I think I'm about to go with Patriots on this one. I, th- I think they're going to pull off the, the win. <laughs> now we have the AFC Championship and the NFC Championship game. Chiefs-Patriots, the rematch of 2018 championship game. Still hurts me. And the la- rematch of last year's NFC Championship game with the Packers and Bucks. Uh, let's go NFC first. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers... Uh, I believe for the fifth time? Four, fourth or fifth? I can't remember. But uh, 
and Lambeau. Tom Brady did win last year. Yeah. But he had all of his weapons. Yeah, yeah, he did. I think this year is the year that the Packers will go finally to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I think they're going to. Um... I think it's going to happen. I think, you know, they're going to want their revenge. They always have wanted it this year. They're going to get it. They're going to go to the Super Bowl to face the winner of the AFC Championship game, which Chiefs Patriots. This one's the hard one for me because the Patriots defense always plays Mahomes and uh, the Chiefs very well. But Andy Reid has always gotten better of Belichick recently besides the playoffs. Yeah, that's going to be a tough and one. I think this is where the Chiefs will lose. Hmm. Patriots, if they don't turn the ball over, their offensive line is good. Uh, honestly, this could be the Bills as well. I mean, whoever wins that game will be in the championship game, in my opinion. But so, actually, it can't because the Chiefs will face the Bills if the Bills win. Uh and even if the Chiefs win. But if the Patriots do end up winning, they can easily beat the Titans. And if they beat the Titans, they can easily beat the Chiefs. I think the Patriots could go all the way to the Super Bowl to face the Packers. And honestly, Aaron Rodgers will easily beat that. I think the Packers will win the Super Bowl Yeah. if they face the Patriots. Uh, but that's this is my bracket right here. Uh, write down in the comments section below what you think. Fish will go ahead and get yours back up here uh, right. with Fish's bracket. Uh, we have Titans Bang. Oh, well, uh, did we say you have a different AFC? NFC, you said the Packers, right? Uh, yeah. Which one did you say for the Cowboys, Bucks? I said the Cowboys. You said the Cowboys? Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, we both agreed the Packers. All right, so you're AFC. Ooh. Chiefs Bills. Ooh, that is that's gonna be a tough one. Ooh, I don't know. Uh I might have to go with the Chiefs on this one. I think Mahomes can pull this off. And if their defense can hold well up against Josh. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I'm gonna go with the Chiefs on this one. Yeah, we also faced them week four in the in the, in the regular season. We got our asses kicked, so we're definitely looking forward to a, a rematch yeah. with them. To, uh, yeah, and the, and the Chiefs definitely stepped up since yeah. then. So, yeah, Offense I think it's going to be a good has match. looked better. But... All right, Bengals-Titans. Ooh. I might have to, I'm going to go with the Titans on this one. With the yes. Titans, I mean, yeah, Joe Burrow, he could definitely put up some points with their – Against their defense. Well, actually, I don't know how. Is the Titans' defense real good? I, I haven't really paid attention that well. To they allowed 28 Titans to the Texans. Defense. All in the second half. Oh, yeah. Oof. Mm. Or is 25? I don't know. I remember. Yeah, I mean, they. The Titans could pull off the win if they run through the. Uh... Oh, That's the thing. The Bengals' run defense is not that good. Yeah. Because they had, I mean, the Chiefs' run offense isn't good, and they had multiple ten-plus yard runs, or at least eight, not like eight to ten yard runs. And all the time, we get eight to ten yard runs. We decide to throw the ball like twice, and we punt yeah. it away. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Titans on this one because if they play Derrick Henry, and even if he's not at a hundred percent, I think he's gonna run through them and really score on, score some points on them. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Titans. Gotcha. So your AFC and NFC championship games. Look at this. Let's go NFC first. Ooh. Cowboys and Packers. Ooh, man. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, damn. You guys haven't I mean, faced the Packers this year, right? Yeah, no. We haven't. Honestly, I... I might have to go with the Cowboys. I mean, it, you're gonna have the upset. And it might be, it might be biased, but if you if you just look at, okay, so 
Cowboys offense, like I said, inconsistent recently, but they've they've improved these past couple of games and they keep it consistent. They could definitely score some points on them. And they def they got their defense back back on track. So the real MVP of the Packers is definitely Aaron Rodgers, obviously. And um what's the fuck, what's his name? Devontae Adams? Yeah. Those two are definitely a force to be reckoned with. But against Dallas's defense, mm, I don't know. It's gonna it's definitely gonna be a close game if it happens. You have to remember they're gonna get David Bakhtiari back. Yeah. That's, that's the one thing that the Cowboys have the advantage on is the pass rush. Yeah. I don't remember if Darius Smith is going to be back for this game by the time. Uh, he should be able to come off IR at any time now. I don't remember what he's hurt with. Uh, but I could definitely see the Cowboys pulling off the upset. But I could also see the Packers absolutely steamrolling the Cowboys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be relying on the Cowboys and see if if they can keep their offense consistent, if their defense can hold well like they did recently, I think they could just barely pull off the win. Because it definitely it ain't going to be an easy game. So now but you yeah, got uh, Chiefs-Titans. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, Chiefs have definitely stepped it up since they're, they're – pass game against the titans but um yeah we uh, don't talk the... about that <laughs> yeah yeah that was um that was something but the chiefs definitely weren't at their best at that time but they stepped it up since that game and the titans I, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the chiefs on this one honestly yeah chiefs Okay, okay. It's definitely going to be a tough match for him. I definitely it's... agree with you here. Again, I'm not trying to be biased here, but the Titans' yeah. defense, honestly, is not the best. It's been better. Uh, and if the Chiefs' offense is what it was during like the beginning of the season where we scored a bunch of points, um, I don't think anyone can beat us. But we have yeah, to be clicking. Yeah, and I'm definitely gonna have to watch for um for Henry. We faced him once defense. already. Yeah. And we won. Well, not this year, but you know, during the playoffs or whatever. So your Super Bowl. Cowboys Chiefs, which I honestly would be very good for ratings, but whatever. That would be awesome. Shit, I don't know. This one is definitely You already had I mean, face it's... this year too. Yeah, they did face each other, and they. But the, the Chiefs' Cowboys offense wasn't the what it was. And the Cowboys' defense was god awful. You guys definitely and, had the ball turnover, but you guys lost Ceedee Lamb early on in that game, and that yeah, kind of hurt you. Yeah, and Prescott was not playing at one hundred percent. Oh well, it probably wasn't all on Prescott, but yeah, that, after the game with the Patriots, he just I don't know. He was making stupid calls this wasn't playing like how he was uh, at the beginning of the season but they do have their defense back and if their offense is consistent if they, they just keep it consistent just keep it the same as they've been playing these past couple of games it's definitely going to be a tough one for the Chiefs but hmm what do you think? Who do you think? So, if the Chiefs play well up to this point, I think they want to get revenge on, you know, the last Super Bowl that they had where we put up nine points and didn't score a touchdown. Uh, I think they're going to have the more motivation. Both, both fan bases travel very, very well for this game. So it's... Uh, so SoFi is gonna be filled. So I think uh honestly I don't it's hard to tell because even I, I don't yeah. even have my Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. 
Yeah, but even though I, I really want them to. <laughs> both I, teams have stepped it up. I want them to, but I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to with how our offense has been this year. Uh, that's honestly I really mean, surprising it, to me what I've what I just said because our offense was always better, and now it's our defense that's good, and our offense is just meh. Yeah, that's that's how it was in the the uh, a couple of games ago. Like after after the the Patriots game, it was their defense was good, and the Cowboys' offense was just sloppy but if if they can keep it keep it consistent just keep it perfect if they play at 100 percent i damn dude i don't know i want to say cowboys but like i feel like they're gonna That's drop the, the ball i yeah i was gonna say i don't think the cowboys can beat the chiefs and even though they've already faced them before I don't think the Cowboys can beat them if the Chiefs' offense is clicking. If the Chiefs' offense is not clicking, I can definitely see the Cowboys winning. This is a, really a 50-50. It just all depends on which offense wants to play. I mean, it, yeah, and I'm, This is I your bracket. I'm not trying to sway yeah, you, but I, this is your bracket. And I just don't know how well the defense would hold against Mahomes. I just – because, like I said, their, their past game, their defense was not – most of them weren't there and it definitely left some holes for them to score but with their defense back against Mahomes it's going to be a close game but I, I might have to go with the Chiefs honestly you go with the Chiefs honestly yeah so this is because your I, bracket I, yeah I think the Cowboys might choke it honestly I mean I don't want them to I I want them to do good, and I really would want them to really pull off this win because, I mean, it was, it's the Super Bowl. But, yeah, yeah, I think the Chiefs just are going to play it 100% better. Well, I guess that will go ahead and do it for the video. Leave a like. Say which one you think is going to be the 100% perfect bracket. Honestly, if Fish, if you get a perfect bracket, I will literally give you $50. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be oh, dead honest. Man. I will seriously give you fifty dollars. Uh, I highly doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt any one of us will get perfect. But, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please consider hitting that uh, subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel as well. Also hitting that like button as well. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we are out. Peace.